Over the last two years, the devastating drought experienced painted a grim picture of most parts of the country, especially the northern regions. Thousands of Namibians living in northern Namibia experienced poor crop harvests and the worrying scenario of a food crisis. Serious water shortages also affected livestock, with hundreds perishing over the period. But in the same breath, northern regions are also prone to devastating floods, in some instances cutting people off from their main water sources. Water harvesting is a key water-related intervention with the potential to contribute to rapid improvements in the yields of rain-fed components. If you travel along the north and central Namibia, there are a lot of villages you will find burrow pits that are not basically being used for anything. So these burrow pits, after sand mining, can be used to, they can just be leveled and um, whatever needs to be done to them, and the water can be channeled from Ishanas to these uh, burrow pits. They can basically be converted into dams. Talking to us about climate variability, an assessment of challenges and opportunities created by floods in north and central Namibia, Anonandapo said water harvesting will help curb the chronic water crisis Namibia finds itself in once this water is treated and made fit for human consumption. She added that simply leaving water to pool in Oshanas also increases risk of infections, especially among those displaced as a result of floods. You know, we all know that during floods uh, we have these waterborne diseases. And then the waterborne diseases, I mean, the people get to experience malaria and gonorrhea and all those, but then they have no access to the hospitals. So they have no access to their health facilities. So how are they supposed to cope and how are they supposed to survive during floods? I think the government really needs to work on that. Between last year and early this year, the country received heavy rains, which brought flooding to northern Namibia. Over 100 schools in the northern regions were forced to close, affecting a total number of 270,000 learners.